In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Gathered around the altar of the Lord to be nourished by God's word and sacrament, and celebrating the baptism of the Lord, through which the beginnings of the Sundays from cradle to the cross is celebrated. We ask God for the pardon of our sins and our sinful strength. Lord Jesus, you reveal your glory in our midst. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you cleanse us to be God's own people. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the beloved Son. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who, when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. The voice cries out, In the desert prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain, the rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all the people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up onto a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom, and leading the ewes with care. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus, Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own eager to do what is good. When the kindness and generous love of our God, our Savior, appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The people were filled with expectation and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. After all the people had been baptized, and Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my beloved son. With you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. A few days, days as in D A T E S, and events are close to the importance of the day I was configured to Christ. You know that day? The day of my baptism. How can I ever forget that? I have a few of those important events and there are days in my memories <laughs> and I always remember to celebrate them certainly my birthday is one which happened to to fall on assumption but my baptism also falls on the solemnity of the mother of God 1st January 
1983 was when I was born. I was six years, four months, and 17 days old. But old enough to see what happened. My parents had gone to Nigeria for economic reasons. So I was left in the care of my grandmother who died and was buried a year ago. And she took me to church to be baptized. And I quite remember that priest who did baptize me. And uh, the clothes I wore, I still have them <laughs> in my mind. Can you believe that? Because it is very important. That was my Jordan moment. When, like Christ, I was led by the Holy Spirit into the River Jordan, baptized, and the heavens opening with the Holy Spirit descending like a dove and the voice of the Father resounding, this is my beloved Clifford, in whom I am well pleased. How incredibly wonderful, how amazing. What is very essential is to have this recognition of the momentous occasion that this is in the life of every Christian and to, to live its meaning in our lives because it makes all the difference. Saint Nazianzus, Gregory Nazianzus, one of the early church fathers in the fourth century would reflect on the significance of our baptism, saying, let us be buried with Christ by baptism to rise with him. Let us go down with him to be raised with him. And let us rise with him to be glorified with him. John the Baptist says of our baptism, the baptism of Jesus, of the new age. We will be baptized with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Saint Peter says in our second reading that in our baptism we live the life of the Savior, the life of grace. That is what we are filled with the Holy Spirit, enlivened to live the power of God, to live virtuously, even in the most challenging moment that we find ourselves. And so be signs of transformation and encouragement to other people who are struggling. May this moment, our Jordan moment, not be lost on us ever. And may it be the source of every regeneration that we need. Amen. Shall we rise, professing our faith with an ancient creed? I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. 
For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our baptism makes us members of God's family. Confidently, let us present our needs to Him. Our response to these petitions is to render our prayer. For the church, that we may recognize our calling to be daughters and sons of God, and empowered by the Holy Spirit, may we manifest God's love and compassion through our words and deeds. We praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of all nations, that God may fruitful their servants and empower them with the Holy Spirit to work for the good of all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For military members, police officers, firefighters, and first responders, that they be promoters of peace, gifted with courage, hope, and strength, and protected in their duties. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have been baptized in our community, particularly those during this last year, that they may be faithful disciples of Jesus and continue to grow in their knowledge and love of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all catechumens, that they may hear God's call, allow God to prepare a way in their hearts and grow in their relationship. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our many vocational choices, that the Spirit will guide them in responding to God's invitation to priestly, religious, married, or single life, and help them to share their love and gifts fully, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For deepening in prayer in our lives, that by Jesus we may grow in our relationship with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of the COVID-19, for any other illness or disease, for those bound by substance abuse or addiction, and for all that are impacted by violence, that God seem in love will relieve their pain, strengthen their mind and bodies, and restore them to full health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have requested our prayers and for those who have no one to pray for them, for the silent intentions that have been holding our hearts, and for all who have died, especially for Eugene J. Spangenberg, and for Ian Katalfano, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Compassionate Father, you shower your gracious mercy on us. Hear our prayers and bring us to everlasting life with you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Of this wine to offer fruit to the vine work of my hands. Come 
spirit through drink. Blessed be God forever. Well, send to us the sacrifice we have for you and come to our down with spirit. And we should be like this. And Christ spirit from our sins. friends that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O oh Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us and by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ your servant has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we are clear. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his portion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Benedict, St. Bridget, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Throw him with him in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Other saviors, command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, O live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that he should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Let's keep us safe for eternal life.
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
All right, our special thanks to Jane, uh, the organist, and Megan Usan, I hope I got it right, and uh, <laughs> to Bob, uh, who did the lecturing, and those of you uh, Eucharistic ministers who joined, and the backbenchers, you know, who help out here, you know, Teresa and Colleen, and then the maybe last two. I would want to encourage all of us to continue the momentum of our uh, CMA collection. You know, we, we gain something, some fire uh, with the Christmas celebration, and that is wonderful. Uh, um, I have two more weeks to go to Ghana, as you know, and how glad and how happy I will be if we can make it to the top before I go. You know, I'll be celebrating that with you, 100%. You know, so please let us uh, uh, get it done. Thanks for considering to do it. God bless you. And I'm going to keep all of you in my heart. And thoughts and prayers as I go back to Ghana uh, to return someday. Uh, some, I don't know, it could be as quick, it could be... Oops. I don't know, as long. So you keep me in your prayers as I do for you. God bless you for, for loving me so dearly and for your generosity. God bless you. Thank you. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.